Hi guys, Steve Buzzer here. I'm on the chipping area and I'm testing out the new Callaway Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X. So if you've seen the video I did, like my initial impressions when I took the ball out on the course, I wanted to see if I could really feel differences between these two balls. Um, the first thing, and I, I've always liked the durability of this golf ball, so that's the first thing I check. So I've been using my 60 degree, I've hit a, a number of shots, didn't go in the bunker, so if I went in the bunker I'd probably expect a little damage onto the cover, but both balls, they're absolutely fine. You know, a bit of grass stains on them is all, if I wash these off, you know, there's no actual damage to, to the cover, which is quite impressive. Um, you can definitely, so if I knock the balls like this, I can feel in here big differences. So that's the Chrome Soft versus the X. You know, I can feel in here the difference. When you're actually hitting shots around the greens, I would say, yes, I can feel that the Chrome Soft is slightly softer than the X, but I, I wouldn't say it's a difference that if you like one, you wouldn't like the other. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to be going into the X. And when, I, when I'm hitting, especially like pitches, you know, sort of 20 yards, you know, I could feel the difference in the Chrome Soft, but that's not to say I didn't like the feel. If you're somebody that has used the Balata in the past or grew up with Balatas, you know, the, the Chrome Soft is going to be as close as I think you're ever going to get to that sensation again. So if you miss that feeling, you know, I would be going Chrome Soft. But uh, if you're more of a high ball speed player, I, I think you, the X, you know, for me, is definitely going to be the one. You know, it, I, I was trying it. I had the third option. I didn't mention, you know, just last year's Chrome Soft X, you know, the, the ball I gamed all of last year. Yeah, I could feel a slight difference. That's a real tiny difference. But again, I, I'd got used to the feeling of the X or last year's X. Um, when I switched, and I, I, I was very honest last year, I switched for performance. I actually preferred the feel of the Chrome Soft. Now with this new one, and again, I've had a year to get used to that slightly firmer feel, but I would say this one is just a tad softer. So for me, it really meets my preferences. Like I say, if you're somebody that really loves the feeling of a Balata, I think the Chrome Soft will hit your liking. But all balls feel and react great around the greens, and the durability is good. You know, and I, I, I love that in a premium golf ball. So it's getting a thumbs up to me, you know, to actually judge how much better it is compared to the old ball. Because I've always been a fan of the Chrome Soft, so that's going to take a few more rounds. You know, it's going to take a bit of time to actually see if the improvements in the core are making that much of a difference compared to, to the old one. But all in all, I'm very happy with the progress. And I hate when they go into that clickiness. You know, that was something that I really disliked in some premium balls over the Pro V that was always kind of the benchmark. I think this one's catching up. You know, get some comments down below. If you have had the opportunity to try the new Chrome Soft, or you're somebody that played Chrome Soft last year, let me know why, how you like the feel, and if you think this, this Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X could be the ball of 2018. Get those comments down below. Hope to catch you soon.